Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Roll an Incremental Dice Builder Strategy Game Score Attack kind of a thing. Uh, kind of in the realm of, uh, I guess, the most similar thing I could think of would be like a, a luck be a landlord where you are con trying to control how well you do by selecting the right things from a like a store draft kind of a kind of an experience uh i've been wanting to check this out for a, a little while here i finally have the opportunity to do it let's let's roll why the heck not let's roll the music is very relaxing first of all uh, welcome to Roll. In this game, you'll have 2,500 rolls to rack up as many points as possible. Gain points by rolling your dice with spacebar, purchase, upgrades in the shop. Click the dot in the top left corner. But be careful, your final score will be however many unspent points you have at the end of the game. You'll have to decide when to stop buying upgrades and to let your dice roll out. Good luck. Alright. You know what? Let's roll. We did it. So what, what, what kind of options do we have in the shop? We rolled our die once. All right, so this item is locked. Unlock items, you need to upgrade the shop and refresh the stock. Refresh the stock. We can do it once for free, apparently. Uh, this, I'm going to guess, is our die. Yes, so this is kind of like our deck, I guess, if you will. You know, we have it's just a standard die right now. There's nothing special about it, but we're going to be able to get all kinds of crazy extra unlocks at certain points here. It looks like we're going to just need to... Roll our die a handful of times here to get ourselves up to like, uh, what? Do we have to get ourselves up to 64 before we can get anything? Is that what I'm gathering here? We could get the plus one. Add specified amount to a die face of your choice. Can only be used on faces with numeric values. How do we upgrade the shop? That one would be that. 780. I mean, we could do that as well, I guess. Add four to the face value at 208. I feel like we should probably just go for that right now. Uh, but I have seen, like... I have seen that there is all kinds of crazy... Crazy kind of multiplicative kind of an upgrade uh, systems that you can get. What was it? It was 100 and... Uh, or 200 and... 208. Okay. 208. All right. Let's get ourselves to 208 and then we'll work from there. How about that? Da -da 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 we only have 2,500 rolls. So I guess we only... So we need to be a little bit careful here. All right, where are we getting? Where? Oh, I passed it. I passed it. That's fine. All right, so plus four. This is the question. Do we want a plus four on the uh, on the one, like on our lowest, to make it so each roll is going to be more effective? Or do we want to just make the big one bigger because we're going to be more likely to keep it in the future? I'm going to do that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that face that we made there. Uh, okay. Okay. So, it probably would be in our best interest to get that upgrade, too. But I don't know at what point we should be uh, going for that. So, we should theoretically be already getting quite a bit more. 61. Add to... Fi Why does it say zero? Oh, it's, it says zero because we already bought it. We can't buy it again. Uh, it is free to refresh the shop once. We could maybe do that to try and see something a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more spicy there. Oh, that's so satisfying. It is it is satisfying to just mash the space bar here to roll a handful of times. All right, some somewhere around, what was it, 228, 224? God dang, we're one off. We're one off. All right, final roll there. Boom. Okay. So, yeah, I, I'm going to imagine that there's going to be purchases that we can get that will just straight up del delete other faces. That's going to be my guess. Like, instead of plus four, I'm going to imagine... And let's hit this. No, we're still at the plus... The pluses. We could... We could justify... Because, like, the... Clearly, the, the more you save up, the better it is. But then it's like, you have to run the, the calculations in your head. You're like, should I get this now? Because it'll provide me more on the rolls that it would take to get to that point. There's our 14... But, I mean, you know, I kind of want to... Let's get our shop upgrade. Let's let's start there. Might be a waste. The more we see the 14, the better I'll feel. Because maybe if we get our shop upgrade, we get something where we can actually straight up replace one of these uh, these lower faces. 418. I don't know, man. It might be... 
it might be a bad call. It might be better off to just like straight up actually get our upgrades off here. Uh, again, I, I don't think that this is necessarily definitely the right thing to do. Nice. All right. Let's keep that one at 20. I mean, I kind of don't want to roll anymore. I think we actually just won already. So we want to see that 20 a lot. Let's just start mashing, get ourselves up to more like 700, and then we'll upgrade and we'll figure it out from there. All right, where are we at? Are we wait? Okay, 430, 20, 20, 20. For a little bit there, it felt like it was showing up a lot more frequently than it was maybe supposed to, which was kind of a nice feeling. And now, see this, that right there, that is the problem with upgrading only one, is that, uh, yeah, now it's just, it, we got really unlucky there, but... You know, easy come, easy go. Easy come, easy go. All right, let's get ourselves the upgrade. Did we do it? Item is locked. To unlock more items, you need to upgrade the shop and then refresh the stock. All right, yes, this is kind of what I was anticipating. This is a little bit, this is a little bit wild. Add a half incrementer adds a one half incrementer to a die face of your choice increases the value on the face every two times it is rolled increases the value of the face every two times it's rolled okay okay die adder replaces a die face uh, of your choice with a die adder face Wait, hold, hold on. What? Replaces a die face of your choice with a die adder face. Every 50 times the faces roll, it'll add an entire new standard die. Okay. Adjacency re-roller replaces a die face of your choice with an adjacency roller. When rolled, this face will cause all orth orthogonally adjacent dice to be rolled an additional time according to the amount specified. Okay. Single face multiplier, add a face. I mean, yeah, obviously all those sound... Exciting enough. Add reroll. Adds a reroll to a die face of your choice. Roll rerolls the die every time this face is is rolled. It does not stack with other reroll effects. Alright, I mean like are we gonna be going for like a just the big payout? Is that the oh, we unlocked another die, okay. Alright, so we did unlock another die. Did, did we get why why did we unlock another die? I guess it just said a certain sink like a certain point we just get that, I guess maybe. Okay, so we're at 150. Replaces die face with the dice adder. I feel like getting the incrementer early could be quite good. I, I think that might be a good idea. We could put that on something that's maybe a, like a little bit, a little bit lower. Let's just get ourselves a bunch of money. I'm not. I don't care about getting any kind of like super duper high score or anything right now here. Just. Let's just work on seeing this. Uh, okay. Oh, it was 234. Bep, bep. All right. Yeah, we are, we are already starting to get a lot of this stuff showing up here. Uh, I kind of like the idea of putting it on the five. I don't know why. Add a reroll to the die face of your choice. Rerolls the die every time this face is rolled. Does not stack with other reroll effects. Uh, that, that might be good to get on the five even. To try and like try and get it to show up a, just a little bit more often. There's the five, five, five. All right, so where what is the five at now? Is it? It's got to be higher. Five sixty nine, five sixty nine. We got to remember these numbers. That's the thing. I wish there's like a, a way to like just pin it. Just maybe if we could like right click something and pin the value of it in the shop. That would be nice. All right, we'll take that. We'll slap it right on there. Why not? So whenever we get that, we'll get a, a little bit of a re-roll. Replace the die face of your choice with an adjacent adjacency re-roller. When rolled, this face will cause all orthogonally adjacent die to be re-rolled additional times according to the number, the amount specified. What amount specified? What is the amount that's specified? One? So if we get this adjacency roller and we put it on the right die, we might be able to then re-roll this one on the left that's a little bit more spicy. 
So let's get ourselves up to like a thousand or something, I guess, right? Just get ourselves up there and then we'll uh, we'll go back there and see what's up. That one's starting to get quite nice. Uh, there's something that is very just like very pleasurable and, and satisfying right now. Oh my god, yeah, that one's getting uh, that one's getting up there. It is getting up there indeed. We we are under we are what one fifth of the way through our maximum rolls here. So we are obviously going to be hoping that we get things a little bit more spicy here. Cause there's some there's some faces that are just not so great right now. Uh, thousand six sixty five. We could make our die on the right like a support die, <laughs> you know, if that makes sense. Did you know you can change the length of the pause between rerolls and incrementations in the option menu? I did not know. Click on increment. No. Reroll. Okay, increase pause. Okay, okay, okay. What is it? Sixteen sixty, something like that. Sixteen sixty-five, if I remember correctly. Okay, so we should, we should be there. It's got to be a shop hotkey as well, I imagine. Okay, so we are going to replace, you know, we'll just do that. We'll replace our cheapest one on the right die, and we'll see what that does for us. Okay, so that, that re-rolled that one. Okay, this is, this is starting to get spicier. This is indeed starting to get spicier. We could even, like, uh, we could refresh at some point here. We got the plus eight. There's the re-roll there. Die adder replaces the die face of your choice with the die adder face over 50 times it's rolled. Uh, let's uh let's refresh since it's apparently free there so the shop upgrade starts to cost more is that what's up okay th this now this is exciting so we can have we can just straight up get these uh numeric faces here that are just they're just a lot better <laughs> than than what we currently have so let's go for that there we go let's spice up this one over here uh, okay, so what is this? Single face multiplier replaces a die face of your choice with a single face multiplier. When rolled, it will have the value of the highest number times the multiplier. What do you mean highest number? Roll result. Okay. Roll, okay, so... This is equal to 5 times the multiplier because 5 would be the highest one rolled. Okay, so this is something that we might, might want to put on our on our right die. I think that's the uh, that is the idea there. But this is starting to we're we're starting to pop off now a little bit more for sure. I I can't help but feel like we we certainly could be doing uh, a lot more popping off though. How what is the price of this one? 1852. Okay. Sure. Go for it. Let's get that 1852. Actually, even let's uh let's turn this to none. Oh my god, that is really fun. Oh, that's so satisfying. Okay, where are we at? 1852. Okay, well we we went past it. Alright. Let's get that bad boy. So it's going to replace it, so we'll want to pick something that is terrible. There we go. And then let's uh, let's hit that restock there. Adds lightweight. Adds a lightweight to the die face of your choice. The weighted face is more likely to roll. Okay. Okay. Okay, so replaces a die face of your choice with a die quantity multiplier. When rolled, this face will have the value of quantity of dice times multiplier. So 20. Currently 20. But you could have a build where... So clearly, I, I'm seeing a, a build where you could just roll lots... A, a very high amount of dice. So let's probably get this numeric die and then the, add the lightweight there. And we'll add maybe the lightweight on like the, the re-roller. Oh my god, this is starting to... Oh my god, this is starting to... Oh my god, this is starting to pop off. So we have 998. I just got excited by pressing the button. What could I say? I just I wanted to keep going. Uh, so... 21... Okay, well, let's get the plus 3. Make it so literally just everything we have is... Going to, uh... Going to pop off here. Plus 1. I don't know, man. Sure. 
All right. 21-21. Single face multiply. I mean, getting another one of those is a good idea, too. 21-21, so like 40... 42,000. Something like that. But we should probably stop at 2,000. Which is... Oh my god, which is happening a lot quicker than it was. Oh, the quest for the big number is here. Okay. Oops. Oh, wait. We hit 21, 21. All right. So. Let's get this one first. We'll put it on that. All right. 21, 21. Which, again, should just start showing up even quicker now. Oh, my God. Yep. Big number. Is, oh my, okay, yep, we click and it's just going big time. Uh, alright. Out of the weight. I mean, uh, at the same time, we actually probably want to put the weight on that. Now that I think about it. Uh, I kind of want to catch our shop upgrade now. At a certain point, again, we will have to just stop rolling out. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Yep, we're, we're, we're popping off. Okay, oh, I want to I want to upgrade. All right, I want to reroll. See what we got here. Add die. 6. So, oh, with space is 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Uh, sure. Incrementer adds half incrementer to die phase of your choice increases the value on the face every two times it's rolled. Uh, it replaces existing. Yeah. Wait. It ups it by a half? Is that what I'm understanding, or is it... That seems... crazy powerful, if that's true, if it ups it by 50% every time. Am I misunderstanding that? I feel like I have to be, otherwise, like... It seems kind of crazy. Replaces die face. So we should probably go for that. 1766. Oh my god. I mean, all of it's just good. All of it looks good to get, obviously. Oh boy. Yeah. All right, so there we go. 17, where'd it go? I don't know. Go for that. So 76, 21, is that what we should go for? Or should we get the plus seven just cause right now? Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Uh, oh, I don't know why I thought it was 700. Plus 7. There's no way that it's actually adding... I, I, it must be adding half of a... I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. What do you mean half increment, then? Okay, well, just, let's go for the 7,000 here. Which, again, should be very, very fast to do now. Oh! Oh, 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 we passed it. We passed it big time. Okay. All right. Just add a whole nother die. Sure thing. Yeah, now it's up there. Get another 7,000. Why don't we? I feel like there... Yeah, there's, there's all kinds of recipes for success with this, I can imagine. And I also can guarantee there's, like, something that you can do that just completely blows everything else absolutely out of the water. Let's add an extra die. Okay. It does always take us back here after we make that purchase. So what do we what else do we want here? I feel like uh I mean I guess we can go for the refresh stock. 
Adds a light weight. Add a die. Standard die. Add a die. Less than 13. Single face multiplier times 10. Adjacency reroller. Replaces a die face of your choice with an adjacency reroller. Cause all of them to reroll twice. Uh, getting that on like our die in the center seems actually like a really good call. Because like we might be able to... Oop. Might be able to re-roll all of, you know, all of the things into re-rolling the one in the middle, if that makes sense, you know? Uh, okay. Let's try it out. So, what else? We have the 1912, okay. Here's what'll happen when we do that one there. How much do we really even get? So, we're at 20, 2056. It's enough there. We re-roll... We'll put it in the middle on the six there. I don't know. Like, they could set off some kind of crazy chain reaction at this point. But yeah, that, that half incrementer thing, I, I think I just certainly do not quite get. So I, I guess it's just half every time it's every two times it's rolled because it should be at 100. Is 99 the max? 99 is probably the maximum. This makes sense. Okay, so then, like, multipliers are going to be certainly better then. Uh, they're going to be much better. Add a die, add another die, Jason C. We could add a weight. We're, we're, we have a... Th I don't know at what point we're supposed to, like, stop roll, like, or stop uh, going for more purchases. I don't know what's, like, a smart time to do it. But I feel like we can do better. Quantity multiplier. Eh, maybe. Add one half incrementer. Add a die of all ones with half incrementers on every face. I guess we could add incrementer. Yeah, absolutely. We'll slap that bad boy right there, probably. Um, at what point do we not do this? Value of face every two times it's rolled. What is this? Lottery. Replaces a die face with a lottery face when rolled. It has no value. It has a 1% chance to be worth 2500 I mean, that's pretty fun, too. Add a lock. Adds a lock to die of your choice. A lock die cannot be modified and will not produce anything for the shown number of rolls. After this specified number of rolls, it will become unlocked and duplicate itself. Oh. I mean, that's pretty fun. Uh, let's get that weight, though, I think. We get the weight and we put it on the other incrementer. Well, what if we get the weight and we put it on the double, the double re-roller? Ah, you can only, you can only have the weight on one, on one, on the entire die. Yes, okay. So there's only one light weight per die, though. Does that imply that we can put, like, a heavy weight on, too? Add multiplier. The value of this face will be multiplied by the specified amount whenever it is rolled. Uh, okay. Multiply when it, value of this face will be multiplied by the specified amount whenever it is rolled. Wow. Okay. Uh, it only affects numeric faces. Replaces existing face multipliers. Will not multiply the effects of single face multipliers. Okay. So, if we did something like this on... Probably say something like that one, I guess. That might be a, that might be a play. It multiplies it once, I see. Okay. I thought that... Yeah, I, I, I keep on getting... A, I, I guess I'm getting mismatched with incrementer version... Ver, or the incrementer versus the value. Like, when, when am I upgrading the value? When am I upgrading the actual, uh, the actual thing itself? It is something I am frequently having issue with. 
But that I think it's a personal problem. <laughs> I don't think it's the game. I think that's a, a brain problem. Decrementer. There's actually something to be said about putting that um, somewhere that's not the middle. Like over here on this three. Something like that. Okay. All right, we got the five times multiplier. Do we got any other ones here? We got one more free reroll. Let's check it. Add multiplier. So yeah, so we should get that, and we should put that on our um, our our ninety nine, like, right? Whoo boy, we're getting some biggins. So what was it? it was thirty three? Oh no, twenty one. All right. So am I? Am I right? Okay, so yeah, I, I guess we, we can put it on there. I was worried that it was just, like, gonna have no real effect. We're 1,300 rolls left. Hmm. I mean, that's pretty good already. That's getting pretty good. We have one free reroll. I guess you get a free reroll every certain amount of rolls. Uh, single face multiplier, yes, please. Add a reroll. Adds a reroll to a face of your choice. Reroll the rerolls the die every time this face is rolled. Does not stack for the reroll effects. Uh, uh, we already got that one. Is that a reroll effect? Okay, so that can work. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. There's, I do love the thought of the lottery one. So what is this times six? Adds a die of all ones with half increments every face. Times six is the increment, I guess. So that actually seems pretty good, like, to get here still. Oh my, oh my god, we are popping off. All right, so we'll add that for now. Everything that gets added now has significantly less um, long-term value, though. What if we were to just cash out now? Like, what is that? what would that look like? Oh my god, we're at like 50,000. Got one more free. I mean, I guess, sure, right? Like, why not? We'll, we'll, we'll add these to the corners while we totally can here. Corner. Number of die times 20, 1, 2, 3. We got, I mean, if we get 9, we're getting that. We're getting somewhere for sure on that one. Multiplier. Uh, I mean, this is going to hit 99 at some point here. Let's go for it. Single face multiplier. You better believe it. So these ones are the most likely to get re-rolled. that oh my god big number is happening when do we unlock our next re-roll every hundred rolls i see doubles increase when you roll doubles all numeric values on both dice will be increased by one okay why are these all wild Add weight. Okay, so we can have that. Replaces die face be with the last so one face. We'll have the same value as your best die face. Okay. 
Let's get those and cash out. How about that? Oh my god. Oh my god. So we had a wild. Let's slap these wilds on the on the side ones that have a chance to get re-rolled there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I memed it. I had to though. All right, incremental or the uh, the wild will take that. We'll slap that on this side. Sixty four, one sixty nine. Okay. Yo. Did we do it? Almost. Oh my. Oh my God. Sometimes it just. Sometimes it just goes up by so much. All right. So let's slap that one on. I guess what's the next lowest? I suppose we can just slap it there. I guess. Another wild. It's getting very expensive. Add face value to itself. On a face of your choice, adds the face value to itself. Okay. Multiplies a face by two. Can we put that on a wild? Okay, so... So now it was that was the actual like it it's literally the face value but not the point total. I thought that that was see that's the thing is I thought that one was going to be one where it would be it would be uh, on point calculation so it would be effectively uh, a two times increase on our highest die, but no. That is not the truth. But we can put that five times multiplier on a wild. I that one we can do I know for a fact. Sure. Cash out. It's so hard to cash out. Adjacency reroller. Maybe we we hit that adjacency reroller and then we and then we cash out, maybe? Rerolling it three times instead? Or we could uh take that, put that on a face like that. Okay, so it's so hard to convince yourself to cash out. You just want to make the number as big as possible. So what are we at when we do when we go down to a uh, nine hundred? Okay. So theoretically, theoretically, we could cash out with a million points. Like that seems good, but I do know that the scores. Can do much better than that. Run mega increase. When you roll a run, three or more consecutive numbers, all the numeric values on all dice will be set to the highest number in the run. Nah. Take another single face multiplier. Okay. Do we have another reroll? We do. Do we have another? Mo we haven't. We have a bunch of weights. The incrementer. I mean, we could one half incrementer multi-face multiplier. Replace the die face with your with a multi-face multiplier. When roll, it'll have the value of the most common number times the most common occurrences times multiplier. So if we roll the 99 multiple times because of multiple re-rolls, does that work? Also, number divided by 2 increase. When you roll a number divided by that can be divisible by 2, all values are increased by 1. Hmm. This seems like it has the potential to be Omega broken. Mm. 
it has the potential to be. All right, we play 50. What does it do? It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Do we get to uh, we get a new reroll? When's our new reroll show up? It's every hundred. So you would think like every divisible by a hundred. All right. Single face multiplier. Sure. There, that de incrementer is successfully wildly de incremented. Add six incrementers. Adds an incrementer to every every face on a die of your choice. Uh, I mean, it seems good, but like also, at this point, what do we have? Do we really, like, we have the incrementers. Oh, that one doesn't have incrementers at all. Is it going to be worth it at this point? There's no way that it'll make that value back up. No way. I think we cash out. Let's just, we'll cash out and see what happens. Maybe. We're at, or we could, uh, we could go back and do our free reroll again. Maybe we'll see something, like, really good. Check the free reroll. Yeah, it's really, it's hard to say. Like, I don't know when, I mean, I'll add a die weight, I guess. Sure. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see. Oh boy. I mean, we're going to pass a million, very least. Like that was that, that was the, that threshold just like a little bit ago that I was saying we would just pass. We were going to pass that before, but now we're certainly going to pass it. But like, I know we can do better. That's the thing. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. Send it for the f last 500, maybe? Maybe? D do we get ours at uh, 499? Is that is that when we get it? Like when we just pass, pass right over that? All right, is there anything that's really good? Another, another weight? I guess it could add weights. Especially to these ones that are like on the sides that are not... Like they don't provide an extreme amount of value otherwise. Number, big number. You need multipliers and stuff. That's what that's what you need. When you get when you start to get to the point where you get multipliers, that's when things pop off. Add face value to itself. I maybe I was wrong about this, but I feel like it's just it happens on click, right? Like, it's not... Yeah. It's not... Like, it's not like that's bad. It's not like it's bad or anything. Down to three, two ninety nine. Get the fr just you know gotta cash in on the free reroll right like I just want to see what what's going on here I feel like yeah doing something with the die adders sounds interesting 
Uh, six dice reroll. Well, you have less than six dice. The value of all dice. Wow. See, like something like that would have been really good if we had known it existed, and then we would just like wouldn't have added these ones on the side. But now that we have these extra ninety nines, like it, it makes that one multi die incrementer one actually really good. Like the one where it's like every um, it multiplies the ninety nines by each other or with each other, basically. Hold on, you might be run you're running low on rolls. Might be might be time to stop purchasing from the shop. I mean, like, yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. The lock could have been fun to do earlier, too. This die in the bottom left sucks. Let's go down to... 199. Okay. I mean, 2 million is... Uh, can't be mad at it, right? Can't be too mad at a million. What's this? Numeric bonus. Value of all numeric phases will be multiplied by the specified amount. All non-numeric phases will have no effect value. Okay. I mean, I mean, yeah. Like, th this would be good to have on that one in the bottom left if we did it a lot earlier. But, like, we don't have it, so... Tis with tis. I'll do that, and then I'm done. For real. Maybe. It's hard to not. It's really hard to stop. I mean, yeah, like two million, it, it's like nice. It's nice to see two million, but I think that the scores, the average score is quite a bit higher. Add to die with faces DQ times 10. DQ times dice quantity multiplier times 10. Die plus die adder. I mean, that seems cool. That seems really good, but obviously, like, it's far too late for that to make its value back. But, like, yeah. Sounds cool. Sounds good. But let's, uh, let's run the clock out here. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll finish her up. We'll stop at, like, maybe almost two and a half million. And we'll say, good deal, dude. Thank you very much. I, I will say, you know what, maybe, maybe it's respectable for a first score. Maybe for a first score. Uh, 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 oh, I can't even fit my name! Alright. Yeah, that's not surprising at, at all there. Not surprising at all there. Okay. So there clearly, there's like a top score kind of cash out there yeah not even not even really close well but like it's it's not even really close not even not even close to close boy these uh yeah these scores looked not very scary uh just like a week ago like a, I, I remember looking and I think it was like a billion one billion was like a really really good score holy moly Holy moly. As said, yeah, I feel like there is some kind of, like, there is some kind of combination of dice that really, I feel like, would rip this wide open. And clearly seeing that that scoreboard where clearly either, okay, well, either it was, you know, a hacked score to be, like, haha, funny, look at, look at this big number that is exactly, you know, 10 trillion or whatever, or there was a, a way for the game to score so high that even the dev was not anticipating the score would would reach that in the wildest dreams uh of score so one, one of the two things happens there's like it's one of those games where i feel like it's probably i would enjoy playing this to try and beat my own personal score just pick it up play it in the morning or something like just relax a, a bit in that way it seems like a perfect just zen out, try and make the big number, try and make run calculations, everything like that. If that's something that you're, you're interested in, in that kind of uh, the behind the scenes mathematical uh, side of the deck builder genre or like, you know, or the 
like luck be a landlord is, is fascinating to you in the sense of like RNG is the main gameplay element, but how you do well is you decide how to like with all of your choices you decide how do I manipulate the RNG to give to give me what I want, you know? Uh, so it seems like, yeah, there, there's probably, like, a uh, some kind of thing you can just unlock, though, in your head. Like, when you, you figure out the pattern, you just look in the shop, hopefully you get what you get what you need and you get it early kind of a thing. But if you're just having a zen out time, this is a great time. I, I really enjoy this. Uh, I, very, I, I very much enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this. Comments below. Don't tell me what I did wrong. I don't care. I was just showing off the game and trying to have a nice, pleasant time here. I, uh, I I very, very much liked it. I will play more of this off camera for sure. Let me know if you want to see more on camera. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to comment down below. Greatly appreciate any and all comments you wish to leave on the series here. The Let's Try series, that is. But hey, check out my channel for roguelikes and more typically. This, this like, arguably sort of just kind of falls in the deck builder roguelike sphere but i i would not necessarily call it one because it's kind of like a score attack there's no there's no definitive there's no definitive end i would i would say that is it is a deck builder score attack game but it it probably does hit the same nodes of a lot of like same like internal brain nodes that the, the deck builder roguelike genre kind of hits uh, but that is going to do it. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Typically, Rolex and more every single day, but I cover all kinds of things. Check it out. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!